I'm pushing. Look like I'm doing a push cross. I'm not doing it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you guys are new, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video. We're gonna be going over a uh, Scoot Henderson video, okay? Probably one of my favorite players that I'm most looking forward to watching how he progresses in the NBA. Super athletic, uh, kind of reminds me of John Morant, but just a little bit bigger, but I love his explosiveness, love his athleticism, uh, kind of like an OKC Russell Westbrook, so I'm excited to see um, how his game evolves and how it plays out in the NBA. But today we're going to go over some skills, give you guys some drills that you guys can do uh, to make yourself play more like Scoot, if that's what you guys want to do. So sit back and enjoy this workout. All right, other than dunking almost every single play, uh, we're not going to work on that, although you guys should be doing some type of vertical training because it's going to help your basketball game overall. Obviously, if you guys watch any Scoot highlights, He's dunking everything at the rim, even probably being only like 6'1", 6'2". If you guys want to get your vertical up, we have a 12-week vertical program. It's helped a lot of people. It's got me where I'm bouncing, dunking. So if you guys want that, go ahead and get that program. So the first move we're gonna work on is, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a one that he did against the number one draft pick, the Victor guy, where he had Victor in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He hit him with the hard between to get Victor to back up to think he was driving, and then he did a little shuffle back side step, okay? So I'll show you guys one rep, or a couple reps here, and then we're backing up, and then we're making that shot, okay? Main thing on this one is you guys gotta make sure that you drop your chest, you're stepping hard with that between the legs. We can't have a soft between the legs or else that guy's not gonna back up. It's gotta be a hard between, that looks like I'm driving right, gets my defender to back up, and then I'm planting off that same foot and kind of shuffling back or sidestepping back. So I'm here, hard tween. All right, I'll show you guys one more of that. Got it? You guys have any setup move you want, and then hard tween, shuffle back out, knock down your shot, okay? Once you guys make about 10 reps of those going both ways. Okay, next we're gonna work on an inverted snatch. So I'm driving downhill, obviously with Scoot, really good at getting downhill so people will play off of him and try to beat him to the spot. When he sees that, he'll stop. I'm gonna give you guys two options, two different footworks to do. So if you're driving, you feel like your guy's gonna cut you off, we're stopping with an invert stop. I call it an invert snatch. First footwork we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop our feet quick, get off our shot, and then the second work, footwork we're gonna do is here, and then we're gonna hezzy. So I kind of lift up off. It looks like I'm gonna drive again. Ooh, and then I'm right left into my shot. So let me guys show you three of each. Again, work on any type of attack move. Drive hard, quick stop, knock down that shot. Show you guys one or two more. Any type of move. Oh, stop inside foot. Knock down that shot. Okay, show you guys one more. Pay close attention to I'm hopping my feet as quick as I can, okay? So I don't have a lot of space on this one. I stop, my defender goes down a little bit. I just wanna get my feet set and shoot quick. Oh, hey, pull, hop, knock down, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys the hezzy footwork. This one is if you have a little bit more space and you're thinking, oh, I may drive it. And then when you go to drive, they shift up over. Now you got a hezzy into that footwork. Hezzy. Stop, knock down, okay? As you guys can see, I'm stopping inside foot, I'm relifting, and then I'm dropping into that hezzy shot. Oh, knock down. Show you guys one more of that. Oh, boom. We're gonna work on a push cross out of transition. Okay, so I saw he's really good in transition loves when people are backpedaling on him. He loves to get their body to turn with a quick push cross. And then we're gonna work on this high pickup Euro step into an inside hand finish. Okay, so if you guys got a taller defender running with you or helping over here and they think you're going left hand, you sneak it up with that inside hand, 
real quick. I think Scoot did this on the, the Victor guy as well. Had him thinking he was gonna go outside hand on the Euro and snuck it in real quick. So on our push cross, our eyes are middle, making it look like we're going here. We're pushing, we're one dribble, and then we sneak it up with that inside hand. Okay, I'll show you guys a couple more. Main thing on this push cross is if you're going 90% in transition, as soon as you do this push cross, you gotta bust out and go 100. Changing that speed on that push cross. Hey. Boom, and I'm finishing. Make sure you guys are getting about five reps each side, practicing, even with your weak hand. Oh, finish. Show you guys one on the other side. Middle, chin change. Oh. If, that, if that defender has seen you do that push cross a couple times, now you can fake that push cross with an in and out, okay? So especially if you're a super explosive player, you're gonna turn that chest to make it look like you're gonna do a push cross. And then here, we're just gonna practice our athletic finishes, okay? So if you're not at a spot where you can dunk, this is where I would want you to just practice finger rolls in the middle, practice pushing yourself, getting it up. If you're at that position where you can touch the backboard on your layups, go to the other side and try to touch the backboard. If you're at that position where you can dunk, try to get up there and dunk it just to, to train yourself to be athletic, all right? So I'm pushing, look like I'm doing a push cross. I'm not doing it. I just murdered that. I just actually murdered that dunk. So, push cross. Oh! Last one. As you guys can see, I'm 5'5", five five, so our vertical program works. Hey. Oh my gosh! I'll show you guys one on this side. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. We will see you guys in the next video.